The International Anarchist Congress of Amsterdam took place from 24 August to 31 August 1907. It gathered delegates from 14 different countries, among which important figures of the anarchist movement, including Errico Malatesta, Luigi Fabri, Benoit Brauchu, Pierre Monnet, Amade Dunois, Emma Goldman, Rudolf Rocker, Christian Cornelissen, etc. <laughs> organization of the Congress The Belgian and Dutch anarchists were at the initiative of the Congress. While the Dutch took care of the material organization of the event, the Belgians started the publication of the Bulletin of the Libertarian Internationale, which had as main editor Henri Fuss. In December 1906 to January 1907, they launched a memo in seven languages calling for an international meeting, which was signed by the Anarchist Federations of the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, Bohemia, London anarchists speaking Yiddish it was not signed by any French anarchists. In France, the anarchist movement was divided into those who rejected the very idea of organization, and were therefore opposed to the very idea of an international organization, and those who put all their hopes in the trade unions, and thus, were occupied elsewhere. Only eight French anarchists assisted the Congress, including Benoit Brauchu, Pierre Monnet and René de Marmont. Topic: The 1907 Amsterdam Congress Various themes were treated during the Congress, in particular concerning the organization of the anarchist movement and syndicalism. Other issues included popular education, the role of the general strike, and anti-militarism An international antimilitarist congress simultaneously took place in Amsterdam. However, the most important debate concerned the relation between anarchism and syndicalism or trade unionism. In the end, a resolution was agreed upon, which stated that the ideas of anarchy and organization, far from being incompatibles, as it has sometimes been pretended, complete themselves and enforce each another," and concluded on the necessary "...creation of anarchist groups and on the federation of the already created groups." An anarchist international was thereafter constituted, composed of an international bureau of five members Errico Malatesta, Rudolf Rocker, Alexander Shapiro, John Turner and Jean Wilkett, with the task of "...creating international anarchist archives," and to "...connect anarchists from different countries." The bureau was cited in London, and a new Congress envisioned for 1909. The New International, to which the French anarchists remained hostile, only edited twelve issues of an irregular bulletin. At the end of 1911, the London Bureau ceased all activities. The debate between Malatesta and Monnet Malatesta and Monnet in particular disagreed on the issue of organisation. Upholding the principles of the 1906 Charter of Amiens, which had proclaimed the ideological neutrality of trade unions and their independence from political parties, Monnet thought that syndicalism, as understood in France, was revolutionary and would create the conditions of a social revolution. Monnet opposed this French model of neutrality of trade unions to Russian anarchist trade unions or to Belgian or German Christian or social democrat trade unions. On the other hand, Malatesta criticized Monnet, stating that, "...syndicalism was not a necessary and sufficient means of social revolution," while at the same time supporting as Monnet the ideological neutrality of trade unions, in order not to divide the workers' movement. Malatesta thought that trade unions were reformist, and could even be, at times, conservative. Along with Cornelissen, he cited as example U.S. trade unions, where trade unions composed of qualified workers sometimes worked in opposition to non-qualified workers in order to defend their relatively privileged position. According to Malatesta, anarchists had to also defend this Lumen proletariat instead of only working for the improvement of labor conditions. Malatesta underlined divisions of interests inside the workers' movement itself, going so far as to criticize the notion of social class. There is no class, at the strict sense of the word, as there are no class interests. Inside the workers' class itself, there is, just as in the bourgeoisie, competition and struggle." Henceforth, he thought that workers' solidarity needed a common ideal, which could not be found in the frame of the professional trade union. 
If Monnet had criticized the risk of a possible bureaucratization of the trade unions, while asserting the necessity of maintaining permanent employees in trade unions, Malatesta categorically denied the legitimacy for an anarchist to become such a permanent employee of a trade union. Finally, Malatesta criticized over idealization of the general strike, stating that the latter could not, by itself, provoke a revolution, which would necessarily have to pass, according to him, by an armed insurrection. Topic. Legacy According to some views, this opposition between two visions of the organization of the workers' movement in trade unions was later on merged in anarcho-syndicalism, which combined the revolutionary conception of trade unionism with anarchist principles. However, French syndicalists Monnet and Robert Luzon continued to argue for revolutionary syndicalist unions independent of any political party or grouping, while Malatesta continued arguing against the syndicalist or anarcho-syndicalist conception of revolutionary unions. To him unions needed to be open to all workers open to activity to defend their conditions, and anarchists should work inside those unions to influence the broadest layer of workers, without wanting to make the unions themselves anarchist. Topic. See also Bulletin International du Mouvement Syndicaliste International Anarchist Congresses Topic. References Topic. External links The Proceedings of the Congress at the Library of Congress Ariane Miaville, Syndicalisme, Anarchisme et anarcho syndicalisme en débat au Congrès anarchiste Amsterdam en 1907 in French. The International Anarchist Congress, Amsterdam 1907 pamphlet PDF. International Anarchist Congress Amsterdam August 24-31, 1907 Daily Bleeds Anarchist Encyclopedia. Il Congresso Internazionale Anarchico di Amsterdam 1907, Prefazioni di Maurizio Antonioli, Il Congresso Internazionale Anarchico di Amsterdam 1907, in Italian